What's up guys? Today I'd like to comment on a video I saw a couple of days ago because I found it really interesting and helpful although I already educated myself and thought about this topic for a couple of years and still there are especially two points I will talk about that I found fascinating and would like to share them with you. I will put the link in the description below so you can watch the video yourself which I definitely recommend and let's talk about it. The topic of the video is or the title is 10 things poor people do. Just to clarify when we talk about poor people we don't just say people who don't have a lot of money also they think poorly it might be something not easy to understand right away, but once you educate yourself in this area, you will understand it pretty quickly. And in the video it's explained in greater detail. For now, poor people think poorly, act poorly and obviously don't have a lot of money. The first point I would like to comment on is being poor is a choice. That almost blew me away because I never really thought about it, yet it's absolutely true. Today with the internet and all this knowledge we have, you have everything you know and access to it with barely any obstacles to be at least reasonably wealthy. You don't necessarily will be a millionaire, although it's absolutely possible. However, everybody has access to information that, <clears throat> if it's applied, and that's actually the most critical point, if it's applied, it will help you earn enough to live a mediocre life. Now, why do so many people not use this information, don't even look after it, or don't even think about getting access to it. One of the main reasons is because they just aren't aware of it and we are not taught in school or at home that we have this possibility. Another thing is the value system linked to money and being wealthy by parents, teachers, friends is in many cases negative. You might have heard things like money won't make you happy or money is not that important. If you think like that you won't take any action towards getting more money although you will struggle all your life to have enough money to get by. That's a problem because you'll be so stressed out and always worry about paying the bills, paying your rent and so on. If you change how you think about money, you will change your actions and as a result you will have more money, have better peace of mind and just feel in the end a little more relaxed about topics like paying the bills, taxes and so on. The second point and I just love how he put it is poor people surround themselves with individuals that make them feel good about being stupid. That, oh my god, I already told you the quote by Jim Rohn you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with and I definitely believe it and I experience it myself yet I never thought about it this way therefore it was really interesting for me and it's I totally can imagine that because me on the other hand I'm not saying that I'm wealthy or rich or anything but the friends I surround myself with push me. Whenever I get lazy or slack off or 
am not the best I can be and talk to them for five minutes and just listen to what they have done all day I guarantee you I'm either reading a book working out or working on something that gets me closer to my goals because they take action towards what they want and as a result that's that motivates me to go after what I want instead of watching TV or stupid YouTube videos or just doing nothing, being lazy and so on. And in my opinion that's really important because you are like a chameleon. You will absorb everything or a lot of the things. People that are important to you will throw at you, let's put it like that. If they constantly eat crappy food, watch TV and don't work on anything important, smoke, or do anything that keeps them back, you will most likely end up the same. Yet on the other hand, if you have people surrounding you that constantly give you constructive feedback, that pull you up when you fail and fall down, that push you when you get behind, act lazy and so on, that will influence you as well. And it's your choice with whom you associate. Now obviously there's a time for fun and relaxing and doing nothing, but that's when you've made it as Brian Tracy said. First you have to achieve something and get the results you're after. Then you have time to relax and enjoy the fruits of your work. Before, hustle. That's it for today. If you've watched the video, what did you think about it? And which points were most interesting to you? And let me know in the comments what do you think about what I said right now and as I mentioned about the video I put in the description. That's it for today. Have a nice day.